everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we are here in Elkhart, Indiana at Open House, taking a look at all of the new and exciting Integra Coach motorhomes. There's some new brands, some new floor planes, and some redesigns. We're taking a look at absolutely everything. Behind the camera today, we do have Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's going good, guys. Oh, open house is always such a good time of the year for us because we get to see all the new stuff in one place, and we get to bring it to you guys. Yes, yeah, so without further ado, mm. Will, let's begin in first. We're gonna start right over there, which is the Condor, which I'm gonna be calling the Winnebago Echo Killer. Right. Because it is just it is just something new and super exciting. So uh, let's pop over. A little bit of R&D going on, you think? Yeah, which I like R&D, you know, because listen. Research and duplicate. As much as I love the Winnebago Echo, which I do love, um, they've been so hard to obtain, yeah. right? If we had unlimited inventory, whatever, but they've been so hard to get. So now to give people variety and options and uh, price Different point price that. Point, yep. Cool. So this is the new Condor. Check it out. Ford Transit chassis, B plus motorhome. All wheel drive, loose tires. Blacked out rims and everything. We have uh, this little outdoor kitchen set up. And then look at that floor plan there, Will. Ah, uh, yeah, I like that floor plan. Yep. Pop top roof. Yep. There's somebody up. <clears throat> nice ladder right here. Take a look at this. Well, when, when I was in Europe the last month, this is a lot of the European this style motor. Yeah, cars. yeah. You have these steps up here, the two twin beds in the rear because they do have the uh, passenger mm -hmm. storage right there. No, this is literally European motor. Like oh, 100,000%. 100, very nice, tall, sleek looking fridge. Yeah, open this um, if I can. There we yeah. go. Hello. Yeah, decent Hello. storage in there. And then if you take a step back, it does have a wet bath. Does it have the wall? No. Okay. It almost doesn't need it though, I feel like. So it's not a complete duplicate of the Echo. No. But again, very comparative, <clears throat> comparative, very comparable, very similar in giving people options. I can almost promise you this. I can almost promise you this will be less expensive than that. I bet it will. And, um, so here's what I like to say. If you're in the market for a Class C motorhome, you're not gonna like this. Right. It's too small. But if you're in the market for a Class B motorhome, yeah. this is a great alternative that's a little bit wider and a little bit more spacious. But again, this is also for the active adults. Yes. And then in the um, over cab area, you do have your TV there. Okay. Oh, let me show this up here too really quick. There's the loft area up top. Cool. There's also a new B van, and I don't know. Okay, yeah, this is a new B van. It's called the Arc ARC. Yeah. And this looks like it's um very <clears throat> similar to the Scope. Okay. Very. Oh, see, I like this. I like this. Oh, this is cool. Here. Yeah. Very simplistic design. So that's the bed, I guess? Yep, this is the bed, or more of like a daytime cruiser. Right. Nice rear bathroom back there. Sits on the Ram chassis. This um, is like what you need, this honestly. This is very simple, which I do like. And well, no, I did see something that I, I that I need. Okay. Um, It was, see, I don't wanna, it was really, really good. Um, It was the Mercedes with the rear rear lounge. Okay. Like, that rear lounge was awesome. But no, I mean, this By could definitely- Integra? No. Oh, it was, okay another sob some okay. other brand so um really nice cabinetry above and this is just a really nice simplistic design open layout and i'm loving what they're doing here cool hello hello how are you doing good how are you guys <laughs> coming on down we do have the integra launch doing yeah. its thing this year it doesn't look like many changes this is the Expanse. This is the, uh, this competes with that Coachman Beyond on the um, Ford Transit chassis. Okay. Let me just pop in real in here real quick. Um, it's funny because the Beyond has really killed it in the Class B game, but everybody that looks at this and that will, yeah. I'd say nine out of 10 prefers this interior. I would think, yeah. This interior looks fantastic. The Ford Transit just drives so well, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a kick butt motorhome. Okay, this is what's huge. This is the all new I Integra love this. Odyssey SE. Yes. Now we had, um, what was it, 15 or 18 of them? 
that were 23s. Okay. And they had that special price of 79 or 89 or 69. I forget the price. It was a phenomenal price. And when I saw them, I said, you guys made one huge mistake and they fixed it this year. They added the front windshield. Very nice. On this unit. I love that. So the other ones also had the Chevy chassis. Um, and, and you know, it's like, listen, what, what a lot of people don't understand, this front windshield adds two or three thousand dollars. Right. Which, when you're trying to make a price point motor, yeah, that's that, a lot. That's a lot. But I, I told them, I told the Integra team, listen, I love Integra so much. You need to have that front windshield. That's what's iconic about Integra. It is. And they did it. So, um, again, same floor plan, 22C. Yeah. Pop in. Okay. Now, well, here's what I will say. What? This unit's a lot more expensive than 2023s. I bet. Yeah. No, like for real. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what take, what take chassis is everything. it? The 450? I or? think it's the uh, 450. Nice bed yeah, in the back. Bash. Okay. But it's high cargo carry capacity. Nice uh, bathroom right there. It's really nice on the inside. It really is. Yeah. So like, you know, as much, you know, as much as I didn't like not having a front windshield, I mean, I think we're talking ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 cheaper. Right. In the, in the but that's on all the windshield. Year. Right, but there was like some other things. As yep. Because well. um, it was a chassis. Oh, the other one was on the Chevy chassis, and that was a big part of that price discrepancy as well. Oh, it says that it's still on the right here, Chevy forty five hundred on the Odyssey SE. Yeah, but that one's Ford. Yeah, that's interesting. So who knows? We'll find out, Will. We will we find will. out. Uh, right here, a beautiful Integra Coach Steam. Love the full body paint job of what they're doing. This is the only thing that I'm seeing that's really new, is the uh, new the full, paint job. Yeah, I love it. Right. Uh, inside, if we pop inside real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, it's Keith. What's up, Keith? If you pop inside real quick, you're going to see one of the best Integra reps. Well, <laughs> oldest. <laughs> answer, answer the question. So one, when we got our first SE, didn't I call you? Yes. And I said, where's the windshield, Keith? And he's <laughs> like, I know, but it was the price point. Those were like a real special edition, right? The right, because they were also done on a Chevy chassis, not the Ford E450. So that is a 450. That is an E450, yes See? sir. Yep, yep. Okay, so it'll be 450s moving forward. 450s moving forward. Okay. And I love that front windshield. And what, what would you say, about ten or 15,000 more than last year's? Um, without the windshields? Yeah, yeah, that's, yep. that's a good number. Yeah, and again, it's just like, you know, pros and cons. Obviously, this one's better, but it's more money. Yeah. So it's just, there was nothing wrong with the 2023s. And everybody who got them got a phenomenal deal, which I said in the video, I literally said, because Keith said, once those are gone, they're gone. Yeah. And I believe they're all gone, right? They're gone. Yep. <laughs> going months, to, here today, months, going tomorrow. Months, they're gone. So, yep. not only do we have a new paint job on the outside, but we've got a lot of new stuff on the inside. Talk to me. Take it away. We've got the new BM Pro. So you have a whole house... Uh, multiplex system with the BM Pro, Where just like the Firefly, oh, except it's BM oh, Pro. Right here? Right there. So because of that, an added benefit is auto gen start nice. on the Esteem. In addition to that, the standard is now a 12 volt reefer that is 10 cubic feet. I love it. Rather than an 8 cubic foot gas absorption refrigerator. Right. right. And because it's bigger, but it doesn't take up as much space as the gas absorption, you get the bigger reefer with the pantry. Right. Oh, there you yep, go. Yep. And there's an option to do a 15 <clears throat> cubic foot 12 volt reefer. Right, with no pantry. With right. no pantry. Most people are going to select this though, right? Yeah, probably. What, what are you hearing from your dealers? Um, well, the one dealer who I love that you know uh, intimately well. Um, Who's that? General? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Uh, they're doing everything in this with the big reefer. There you really? go. Hey, listen, I don't question their ordering skills because, and you, you can attest for this, um, they, they order stuff really well and they, they order it to move. Now, oh, so they're ordering their steams with the big reefer. Right. But their Odyssey's not. Yeah, it's not that's an option. That's not an option on, on Odyssey. Well, oh, that's why. It gives it di yeah. differentials. It separates it. Cool. And we've got full body paint units that are in the pipeline coming to General RV. Nice. Perfect. What stores? Uh, they haven't been determined yet. Well, it's the winter time now, so it's probably coming down south. Once once we're told that, I will let you know. Are you still paying me $25 per review? No. 
<laughs> That's so funny. Anything else new? Uh, you want to show us the new? Um, I've got an appointment coming, but I can't. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna take a look at that one, but first, well, we gotta give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. RV Life Trip Wizard allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip like fuel, rest stops, break areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Keith, thank you again for joining us. Now, uh, I hear you guys are always switching up. Are you still general exclusive for factory reps for us? Um, or no? Well, no. So I handle. Um, all of the northeastern quarter of North America, all dealers. Yep. Uh, and then general everything but uh, Utah, which Brendan handles in Utah. So if you go to my whole point, if you go to a show in the northeast at any dealership, any northeast show, or you're at a general or or you're at a show with General RV, you will see Keith there. He is truthfully one of the best factory reps. No disrespect to the other reps. I mean, he's at every mm. show that I go to, whatever show I'm at. I know Keith's there. I know. I know. I have a free frothy beverage from Integra coming my way. Absolutely, both of you do. Thank you, Keith. All right, gentlemen. Cool. See ya. See ya. Have fun today. All yes. Right. Now this, Andre and I did a review on this. This is the all new Integra Coach Esteem XL, which is supposed to be a better priced version of the new Accolade XT. I love how it sits on the F550. Right. It's four by four. It's mean and aggressive. Partial body paint, so not the full body paint. It still looks really paint. good though. Exactly. And look at this huge front bunk over the cab. Let's take a look at the inside. Okay. Now again, Andre and I, we are gonna have a full review of this for you. Um, but the inside, this is a similar floor plan to that 27U, just a little bit bigger. Okay. Check it out. Again, 550 chassis here, bunk above. Nice dinette, theater seats. Yeah. Pretty now, good size um kitchen. Go ahead. Now I over look at this fridge. Is One. this the fridge you was talking about? No. Yeah. Well no, this is a this is a very nice fridge yeah. though. Um now keep on looking through. Okay. I overheard somebody say that this is gonna compete with like the Nexus Rebel right. and the Coachman Entourage. Um it is going to be more expensive than that right? for sure yeah uh i don't know the exact price but i know it's going to be sub two hundred thousand. right but again just a little bit of a better price than that accolade xt oh and you guys got to make sure you watch the review when it comes out because it will be the world debut but well yeah there was something that i did not like about this unit that toilet plastic toilet what it's plastic womp womp and it's sitting up on a thing yeah you know they gotta watch it oh and will i do yeah. want to let everybody know i'm doing okay i got sunburned during the hershey show and so my lips are splitting and right. it hurts real bad but thank you to everybody that we met at the hershey show and thank you to everybody who's traded in their liquefy right. at the show. that was cool um guys if you don't know liquefy is our brand of black tin chemical go to primepoopmusician.com we'll link it down below but we did this thing where if you had at least one dosage left of your current toilet treatment we would give you a brand new yep. bottle of liquefied like if you traded in your happy camper or whatever and so bing look at all the people that traded it right. in right dude that was so funny you know the security guards at the hershey show was all like why what? is everybody bringing right? in toilet chemical that is funny <clears throat> all right coming on down will now this is the accolade xt in first and foremost you can see a full body paint is beautiful. Right. Look at this nice big industrial style bumper. That's America. Looks fantastic. You can see the full body paint. You can see it. You, you can definitely see the like the BDS suspension right there. Yeah. You can definitely see that this is beefier and a little bit better built. Um, but this is going to be that price difference of 20, 30, 40 grand between this and the um, 
a Steam XL. Take a look at the inside. And okay. first, wait, wait, wait. Look at this floor plan here. Right here? Yep. Very cool. Yep. And one other thing. This is going to have the aluminum slam latch doors to where the other one had the uh, fiberglass. Right. Take a look at this one. Okay. This one's really made for the people who like to really go off the... Oh! Will no slide outs. Right. <clears throat> uh, nice oh. cockpit there. I love this. This is Europe 10 freaking one. Is this not? Nice kitchen. Oh, for sure. This is just like those box ones. You know all those box yes, ones? Yes, yes. Safari box ones? Yeah. Actually, a pretty good bathroom in here. Oh, wow. And then look at this bedroom, I guess you'd say. Bedroom, lounge, hangout. We got to talk to Keith to see if General's getting one of these. Yeah, we need one. This is cool. I love this. We need to talk to Keith about getting a, a match or review. review right. But <laughs> we'll turn around again, show that. Guys, look at this super sofa U shaped dive. So, bed this is going to come down area. to make the bed. Watch. Watch your foot. Dude, if you're a football fan, imagine going to the big game in this. Huh. Oh, we'll watch the camera. You're shaking Sorry. it around like crazy. There we go. Do the other side and then that's bed. This is cool, man. The I mean, don't get me wrong, there there's definitely some things that I'm not a huge fan of. Right. But, but overall, I mean this is really, really neat. Two AC units, four by four. Man, this is America. Nice. How'd the bathroom look? Bathroom's decent. You know, for a class C with no slides. Yeah. Decent, definitely not the best shower. Right. Not that we've seen out of Integra. You know, again, 550 bunk over the cab. Very, very cool. <clears throat> cool. And then with that said, Will, there isn't too many differences that the um, the Visions are doing. You can see the Vision XLs are now doing those squared off Brinkley windows. Yeah. That look cool. Um, and they're also a silver front instead of the black front. Now. Okay. And then, believe it or not, that is a Vision XL. Um, we just ordered them all with a uh, full body. Fit. Right. Let's see if Keith's over here. Keith. He's nope. gone. He's gone. All right. I guess. I guess we won't know. We'll find him again. Perfect. And then, um, let's take a look at this. Uh, Diesel down here. Oh, is this a Riata? Oh, I like that. That is cool. Yes, it is. It's the 40 Q3 Riata. Take a look, Riata XL. Nice. Take a look at this. <clears throat> Very nice on the inside. Double slides in here, two couches. Believe it or not, Will. This is Integra's entry-level diesel, the Riata XL. It's hard to believe. It, it looks so nice. Nice half bath right here. Bedroom here, nice king size bed, tons of storage, and a really good bathroom back here. I love this. Well, the Riata would be the most entry level, right? Correct. Yeah, this stuff like Riata, Riata XL. Yeah. Still phenomenal unit built on the Spartan chassis. Yeah. Independent front suspension. Don't get me wrong. Just because it's Integra's entry level doesn't make it entry level. Right, you know? right. But this is a good looking motorhome wheel. Um, especially like so many people love the Aspires and the Anthems, but but they're priced really high. They are. So to get something like this, you know, still at an affordable price point, is pretty good and then well we will wrap it up with this unit right here okay so this is a new paint job on whatever unit this is i think this is aspire an oh what do you think it is i thought aspire it is aspire it's a spire. How's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Take a look, Will. All right. 44R. How's everything going? Pretty good. Pretty good. I hear you've been keeping busy. Always. <laughs> always, always. <clears throat> All right, so this is a little higher end. 
nice sofa here, great dinette. You can tell a little different cabinetry, residential refrigerator. Oh, this one has bunk beds. Does it? Okay, yeah. How do you like the way it looks? I actually like the Riata XL better, personally. Yeah, I, I don't like this, and you know what it's doing it? What? The pumpkin smell. Maybe. This looks <laughs> too autumn to me. Yeah. Like, don't nice get me wrong, dishwasher. if you're buying a motor home just to go to, where are you going next week? New England. Like, this motor home in, fall, in the fall foliage in trips. New England, I love it. Yeah. But other than that, the pumpkin's just putting too much fall in my head. I mean, they're just decorating with the pumpkins. I'm just saying. Nice so, bathroom here, full bath. Very, the wood looks very it's, autumn. It's the wood, yeah. Nice bunks here, and these do raise up. I feel like I'm out of the way. Fabrics. Right. King size bed in the back. Double slides in here, and then a okay. So the half bath is in the back. The full bath is in the middle. It looks really nice. And then again, going over there, looking at the um. You know, let's wrap it up and look at this Odyssey just in case. Okay. It doesn't look like there's too many differences with the uh, Odysseys. But I want to I want to make sure. Yes. Odyssey is kind of like tried and true. Well, yeah, I mean, if it's your best seller, why? Yeah, you don't need to revamp the best seller. Yep, this is a 26M floor plan. Yep, OK. Still doing the farmhouse. They did change the balances and everything. Yep. And again, beautiful motorhome, tried and true. You guys know we love our Integra Odyssey. For sure. Guys, that is the Integra coach display. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are loving the what's new for 2024 videos, make sure you guys drop a comment down below. Please let us know. Um, make sure you buy our black tank toilet treatment liquefied. And if you're interested in buying any Integra coach, 23, or 24, please go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We will link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from matsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to a member of our team because our team is here and they will help get you guys the absolute best price on this Integra coach or any Integra coach. Will, what say you? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. <clears throat> What's really cool about these videos is just Again, we're checking out what's new, right? So you don't have to sit and watch each individual review just to see what you like and don't like. Hang on, Will. No, I think you need to watch every review. Okay, okay. Well, both. But this gives you the highlights of them. Each. For sure, for sure. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to, about, I guess, I don't know. That was just my line. Dang. About each of them. Dang, <laughs> yeah. Um, and make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining us. And Will... We'll see you next time.